Hello people of the internet, what's going on? I am the Matty Boy 2 welcome back to another video. Today's video is going to be a team of the season hybrid squad builder. Uh, I've not uploaded for a little while, so I feel that this is well overdue. This is the team I've been using recently and let me tell you, it is insane. Um, I already have some of the players on tradable, so it didn't cost me too much, but I think uh, if you need to buy everyone, you're looking at around... Uh, 600 to 750k around that anyway I'm going to build a team and then show you the player instructions, custom tactics, everything so in net we are going to go with Inform Piatov um, says I've only used him for two games uh, well obviously I have uh, but early in the game uh, he was my go to keeper uh, his first Inform, I can't remember which week it came out but it was quite early I think uh, or it may have just been his normal card. He was my go-to keeper. He is insane. The amount of saves he pulls off that I've not seen any other keeper in the game pull off is ridiculous. Uh, he's not the tallest. He's 6'3". Uh, so he's, he's not short, but he isn't the tallest. Um, long shots he saves almost all of them. His reflexes are incredible. Uh, reaction saves. I think he's saved about 9 out of 10. Uh, really, really good. Right back, we go with the first team of the season, and it is Dorijo Serna. Insane card. Um, 82 pace for a fullback isn't the best. Uh, the only reason I've not put a shadow card or an anchor, you know, something like that on this one, is because I'm going to sell him and then buy him back uh, once he's dropped in price when uh, Foot Champs Rewards have come out tomorrow. Um, dribbling's insane, shooting insane, passing is unreal. Just look at the card. High, high work rates as well. You could play this guy anywhere on the pitch, obviously apart from keeper. Striker, he do a job. If Even if you're just looking for a cheap super sub, I think he'll probably drop to around between 25 and 30k tomorrow. If you're looking for a super sub, buy him. He's all you need. You can play him in defence, in midfield. Playing him at centre mid there, he would be perfect, I think. Anyway, uh, you can see he got one sister as well. Um, insane run down the line. Uh, really good in the play, actually. I'm quite happy with how it turned out. Then crossed it in, and uh, one of the strikers scored. You will see who they are. And I am going to hurry this up because I feel like I'm talking a lot right now. Uh, first centre-back is Rakitsky. Uh, again, my go-to centre-back when the game first came out. Cheap beast. Decent pace for a centre-back. Alright defending, alright physical, nothing too special. They're all boosted by the anchor. Good dribbling, which I find quite important on defenders. Just because uh, defenders with good dribbling tend to feel better on the ball. They don't feel as clunky and like I'm going to lose it. Uh, high medium work rate is not the best, but I haven't noticed them uh, so far. And I think overall I must have played about 300 games with this guy. Really, really good. Second centre back is Inform Marquinhos. Um, I um, didn't uh, win his team of the season card. I only tried a couple of times, and it was so cancerous that I uh, I didn't win it. So I've gone with his second or third Inform. Thirty uh, k I paid for it. Not bad. Medium medium uh, is all right, I guess. Medium high would be better. Six foot, so he's a uh, relatively tall. Uh, 77 pace, again boosted to about 84 I think with anchor uh, 89 defending is insane and 85 physical as well, just a really good card and next up we have the second blue of the team, as soon as I saw this guy's card I knew I wanted to try him uh, Leo Matos really really good good pace, good dri again a really good all round card apart from that defending which is boosted by the anchor card He's right footed, which I didn't actually realise. Uh, his left foot feels w so much better than three star. It does feel really, really good. Um, and I've been trying to build a team around him for a for a while, just trying to work out how I could get uh, him and Serna into a team together because they were the two that I really wanted to try. Maybe uh, Marcus Berg as well. If you do want to see a squad build around that Marcus Berg, who looks unreal. Uh, let's see if we can smash 15 likes on this video and I will bring you that ASAP. Anyway, the uh, central centre mid, we have Blaise Matuidi. 
I'm just going to go ahead and put all these in right now, guys. There we go. Okay. So, uh, we have Tiomue Bakayoko. I butchered that, but uh, who cares? Uh, decent card. is shooting isn't the best. Um, I think he's got something like 48 finishing. Um, he's got a decent amount of goals, but his finishing isn't that great. I'd uh, I'd always back long shots over like low drivens for him. Uh, his balance and agility were rel uh, quite low, so I put an engine on there to boost them. Um, and it seems to have done the job. He feels really good on the ball, and he's a strong player as well, so he will win the ball back for you. Um, Blaise Matuidi as well. Uh, two goals in two games. I uh, I switch up in game actually. I bring Fabinho off and put Ojija Ofo on, who obviously now has a blue card. He's insane as well. Really, really good. Uh, I think his blues about almost discard, so I would recommend you guys pick him up because he is good. Uh, and then Fabinho, I just sub straight off, so there's no point looking at him. Uh, but that Matuidi and Bakayoko combination in the middle is insane. At Cam, then we go with uh, Morgan Sanson. I think this guy, this guy was the first blue I packed. I uh, got him in a gold upgrade pack. Um, and he's got one of the most well-rounded cards in the game. If he was medium, medium or high, high, he'd be the perfect centre mid. But seeing as he's high medium, I figured I'd play him at Cam. Uh, and he's so good. Looking at his uh, goals and assists to game ratio there, most of those are from centre mid. I've, uh, I've only been playing him at Cam recently. But he's got, let me work this out here, 159 goal contributions in 210 games. From mostly centre mid, that is unreal. 82 pace. I mean, it's by no means bad, but it's not the best. That gets boosted by engine. Dribbling doesn't really need boosting, but uh, I figured it's already an insane start. Why not make it even better? Uh, and passing as well, just so uh, every pass is perfect pretty much from that cam roll. He is really good. Really, really good. You, he's a one team this season most consistent player that I wanted to pack, uh, and I'm so glad I did. And then to finish off the team, the uh, two strikers we have are Radamel Falco and uh, Florentine Tovan. Florian, not Florentine. I always call him that. Uh, my favourite strike partnership this year, guys. I've used so many of them. I've used that 86 in for Martial, who I packed. Uh, with the 88 inform son really really good but nowhere near how good these guys are Tovan I think has the best card of any attacker in this game 5 stats 90 or above out of the 6 I mean defending is irrelevant for a striker pace insane and that gets boosted shooting insane passing insane physical insane dribbling insane he may be small but he's with that hot card especially he is so strong, he can dribble past players, he's so nimble, and then if someone was getting outpaced by someone like Team of the Year, Danny Alves, I don't know, he can hold him off as well, very, very easily. Uh, really, really good. The only problem, really, I guess, is the uh, three-star weak foot. His right foot's by no means bad, but, um, yeah, just I always try sticking on that left foot because it's so uh, clinical. And then the second striker we have uh, Falcao, five foot ten, so he's not the tallest, but he does have ninety nine heading. Uh, I've scored some uh, banging headers with this guy. Put the engine on there. I thought his uh, balance and agility were much lower than they are, uh, but he feels really good with it, which is why I haven't changed it. I'd be tempted to put maybe a hunter or catalyst on there, just to boost that pace uh, even more. But he really doesn't need it. He feels rapid. His free kicks are insane, guys. I wasn't expecting his free kicks to be as good as they are. Uh, I think on a basic, um, every single shooting stat is above 90. I think the lowest is long shots, which is 90. Uh, but you can see there, him as well as Tovan both have more than one goal contribution a game. High medium work rates as well. Falcao does have that four-star weak foot, but he only has the three-star skill moves. Uh, whereas... Tovan has the opposite. Uh, so they they just complement each other really well. And then custom tactics. Uh, these are the ones I always use. Uh, feel free to pause the video, copy them. Uh, I've had some people messaging me telling me that they did use them and they worked uh, really well. 
So let me know how you guys do get on with them. Um, if you uh, if you do use them. And then player instructions. We've got stay central getting behind and press back line on both the strikers. Uh, we've got stay forward on uh, Sanson and we've left everything else the same. Stay back while attacking on the central centre mid who is uh, Gigi Offo when he comes on. And then stay back while attacking on both the full backs. So anyway guys, that is it for this video. Remember, 15 likes and I will bring out a squad builder around that team of the season, Marcus Berg. Uh, share the video, really would appreciate that, subscribe if you haven't done so already, uh, and thanks for watching, you guys are the best.